All right, Cameron, are you ready to test out your father's creation? Yep. All right, let's do it. What did it look like on the back end of that? Ton of fire. Yeah? Did it uh, arouse you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another shop vlog. We're going to be documenting one of our builds today. If you guys remember about a week ago, Bruce came in and built a seven and a half inch AR-308 pistol. Uh, he loved it so much and that project turned out like better than we could expect. So he uh, decided to come back and today he's going to be building a five and a half inch AR-15 pistol, a 5.56. So that's what we're doing on the channel today. Stick around. We're going to have some fun. What's up, fellas? How's it going? How we doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? You guys ready to build today? Oh, yeah. Always. Oh, I see Rudy got the project out ready to go. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. I'm going to be walking you through the upper receiver. Rudy, my shop manager, is going to be walking you through the lower receiver. Uh, let's start with the barrel. The barrel is from SLR. It's a five and a half inch barrel. And you, you can tell here that SLR has dimpled the barrel, which is pretty nice of them. It makes the gas block alignment pretty cool. The other cool thing about SLR is that they sell their barrels and their gas block systems. You can tell their gas block here. They sell them together and there's really no tuning issues when we use SLR. If you've ever built a AR uh, pistol that's super short, you'll notice that sometimes you might get some uh, cycling issues or gassing issues. Uh, SLR, when you purchase their their barrel and gas block together, we've had very we've had no issues with any kind of cycling or any kind of gassing because uh, they tune it pretty well out of the out of the factory. Uh, with the handguard, we're gonna go with the SLR Helix five and a half inch handguard. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. It looks pretty much like a like a baby handguard almost. And the barrel nuts included too. Yeah, they include the barrel nut and locking system. Uh, and it uh, once everything is together, it looks pretty sweet. For on the front end, we're gonna do the SLR linear comp. This thing is a flame show. This thing does crazy, crazy things when we put it on. Uh, our bolt carry group. These are our bolt carry groups, enhanced black nitride from. Rubber City Armory. Rubber City Armory out of Ohio, they make our bolt carrier groups and we love them. They make really good stuff. We're gonna do a unbranded ambidextrous charging handle that uh, these things have worked pretty well for us. We beat the hell out of these things and they've put up, so we keep buying them. They're actually pretty decent. Uh, upper receiver or the upper parts kits, nothing really right home about Aluth AR upper parts kits. It's kind of what we had to go with at the moment we're running low on inventory we keep selling out of stuff so uh, however that's not to say that Luth is um, uh, inferior to anybody uh, these have worked great and they've done well for us so we keep buying these as well and the upper receiver m4 e1 upper receiver I'm sure you guys are no stranger to these upper receivers from arrow arrow and SLR work really well together so we keep doing that combo and that'll be about it for the upper receiver. Rudy, yeah. what do we have for the lower? As far as the lower, I have a Sharps Bros Hellbreaker lower receiver stripped. Want to bring it up to the camera? Yeah, sure. Sweet. Pretty cool. Adds character. Uh, our buffer system, which includes everything, your castle nut, end plate, buffer tube, buffer spring, buffer. And then I have a SB Tactical SBA3. Pistol brace, keeping everything legit. Magpul MOE Plus, rubberized grip. That's the, for some reason, the MOE Plus, the rubberized grip is one of our best sellers. So oh, yeah. we uh, we include it. Most most people don't have any hesitation to go with that. Mm -hmm. Strike Industries Enhanced Lower Parts Kit, which we love. We love Strike Industries in here. The cool thing about these uh, Strike Industries Enhanced Lower Parts Kits uh, the machining on these are actually pretty different. Uh, when you when we put it together, we're going to show you how they include a 
a 45 and a 90 degree ambidextrous safety selector and the machining on their bolt catch and their magazine release and their takedown pins are actually pretty gnarly. Yeah. And then lastly, what do we have here? To top everything off, I have a Timney three pound straight trigger. So the cool thing about these 667 SSTs, they're a single stage uh, straight trigger. They're super smooth and the reset on them is super short and they feel phenomenal. If you get a chance to test out one of these Timney triggers, you definitely should. So that's about it for the parts that we're going to be using. Let's get to the build. Hey guys, I apologize for the sound out here. It's a bit windy, but we're about to test fire baby Phoenix and see how the little thing does. All right, Bruce, are you chambered? I'm chambered. All right, inaugural shot on you. <laughs> 